Optimize your data center's energy with A10's Energence Power and Cooling Distribution Solutions. With rack density significantly increasing, power and cooling systems play a more critical role in data centers. According to ASHRAE's October 2012 article, Data Centers and Comfort Cooling, in the near future, the average power density of a 42U server rack will easily exceed 20 kilowatts per rack. This increase will lead IT administrators to pay much closer attention to how energy efficient their power and cooling systems are. Other than the main electrical system, the power and cooling infrastructure has the most substantial impact on the reliability and cost to run a server room. In the past, when power and cooling systems were designed for a data center, they only considered the room's overall heat dissipation. This design involved CRAC, CRAH systems cooling the entire room. In this method, spaces in a data center with high-density server racks contain the following negative conditions. A. Airflow can't be controlled. B. Hot spots grow. C. Air conditioning systems continuously compensate for airflow that cannot pass through server cabinets. D. Cooling capacity per rack is below 6 kilowatts per rack. To better the efficiency and tackle uneven heat dissipation of high-density racks, the next generation of cooling equipment aimed at cooling the rows to eliminate hotspots. This only partially solved the cooling problem and created new issues. A. Difficult installation. B. Loud equipment. C. The equipment occupies rack space. D. A risk of the server rack causing water condensation on the air conditioning unit. To improve the issues of row level cooling, a rack level solution was created, the rear door heat exchanger. The RDHX features easy installation, a space-saving design, and air cooling from inside the rack, closer to the heat source. Hot air expelled from the server fans goes directly into the heat exchanger to be cooled as it exits the rack. The RDHX always maintains a temperature above the dew point to prevent condensation and ensure 100% reliability. The new RDHX addresses each drawback of row-level cooling and provides the best energy performance in the most effective cooling system the industry has to offer. Results of the SVLG Chill-Off report indicated significant performance variations among CRAH in-row and RDHX in-rack cooling methods. According to the SVLG Chill-Off 2 demonstration project, it was discovered that the COEE performance of the RDHX with cooling at rack level was outstanding when compared to the other cooling methods, which use air to transfer the heat generated by servers. ATEN's ECO-CDU is a brand new performance-based cooling distribution unit, which supports up to 16 racks installed with rear door heat exchangers and has an average cooling capacity of 15 kilowatts per rack. The CDU and RDHX installation is simple and can implement a more efficient cooling system into any data center in just a few steps. Once installed, you can adjust the cooling capacity based on the specific heat loads of server racks. This allows the CDU to achieve optimum performance based on your requirements. To add server racks, simply enhance the cooling system settings and add rear door heat exchangers to the new racks. The RDHX mounts easily to the rear of any standard server rack and uses almost no space. The CDU has an interface that provides A. A simple touchscreen menu B. Precise CDU and RDHX status information C. Diagrams that demonstrate the operation and provide settings for each loop, such as the control valve, heat exchanger, and secondary pump. D. CDU Histrolical Trends and Event Logs The CDU supports SNMP and Modbus communication protocols, allowing infrastructure administrators to access CDU status information through a building's central monitoring system. 
A10CDU has the flexibility to support either type of primary loop water system found in a building, free water cooling or chilled water supply. A10's new cabinet PDU is an innovative solution that maintains an entire data center's power with touchscreen control. The PE300 is composed of single and three-phase dual input functions, which can precipitate planning and design for smart management and a better layout. The PE342 supports up to 21 racks with dual input 7 kilowatt power capacity. A10's powerful portfolio of power and cooling products is robust. Integrating A10's cabinet PDUs, Eco CDUs, RDHX, Server Racks, and Eco PDUs will give you the advantage of an easy to manage, intelligent data center. A10 has the experience to enhance the necessary equipment within your data center to build a safe, reliable, and efficient power and cooling system.